Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. Welcome once again to our weekly coaching hour. As usual, during this 45 to 60 minutes or so, I will provide valuable tips, secrets, and strategies to grow your own online business. Now, mind you, these tips are practical, workable, and definitely result producing. Okay, let me share the slide first. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back and uh, Let's get started on our uh, coaching hour. Okay, uh, first I'd like to share with you some of the quotes by those uh, famous uh, guru, you know, or financial uh, guru, or those are, what do you call that? Uh, motivational self-development guru and so on. These are all famous people, okay? Now, this quote by Robert Kiyosaki says, why I recommend network marketing. The network marketing industry offers many unique benefits to those one more out of life. Indeed, or you know, network marketing can offer you a lot, and without you having to come up with a lot of money to start a business and so on. Okay, or you can work from home, and there's so much of for freedom that you can do. All right, uh, in the process of building the business. Okay. All right. He who takes advice about network marketing from those who have not succeeded in the business are bound to fail. You don't ask medical advice from a plumber, so why get MLM advice from those who haven't been successful? So if you want to be successful, make sure you talk to the right people. You know, you talk to those people who have made it in the industry, who have made it in the business, you talk to the management of the company, <clears throat> you know, you talk to those people who are experienced, you know, who knows what this business is all about. So getting advice from the right people is so very important in building your business. You know, don't talk to failures. If those people who have, who have only joined the business and never, never really done the business before, forget about them. Don't seek advice from them. Now, this is very profound. <clears throat> okay, and a quote by Brian Tracy, of course, many of you know who he is. Brian Tracy is equivalent to Anthony Robbins, you know, in the uh, uh, business training and in, in the uh, personal development field. Okay, the future of network mark the future of network marketing is unlimited. There is no end in sight. It will continue to grow because better people are getting into it soon. It will be one of the most respected business methods in the world. It has become one of the most respected business methods in the world. There are more and more professionals like lawyers, doctors, even corporate uh, figures getting involved in network marketing business these days. So oh, let me congratulate, congratulate you by saying that you are certainly and definitely in the right business. So give yourself a pat on the shoulder. <clears throat> okay, right. As a leader in network marketing, your job is to create an atmosphere that eliminates fear. You must create uh, the atmosphere, you must create the situation, you must create the kind of belief that eliminates fear. Okay, don't let your team members especially yourself and your team members to have any fear, to have any doubt in the business. <coughs> All right, we talk about choice. Okay, God's greatest gift to mankind is the freedom to choose. So the choice, the freedom to choose is the greatest gift from God, the creator. But do you choose, the question to ask is, do you choose to improve your life or do you choose to stay or remain where you are. The choice is in your hand. Now, I've said many times so in, in my training, tonight I'm gonna to share with you as well, it is okay to be born poor, <clears throat> but it is not okay to remain poor for the rest of your life. Remember that. It is okay to be born poor, but it is not okay to remain poor for the rest of your life, because the choice is in your hand. You can do something. <clears throat> you can take action to improve your life. You know, you can take action to seek the kind of uh, life that you want, the kind of life that you desire. And uh, definitely when you do something, your life is gonna change. Never doubt that. <clears throat> okay, right. <clears throat> to succeed in network marketing, you gotta do it as a business, just like any other business. Okay, it is a bus business, you must always remember that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a little bit of cough. You are in business, when you registered yourself as a distributor. You know, you have not joined a social club, neither have you joined some kind of, uh, you know, 
society or whatever it is, you are in business when you register yourself as a distributor. So here's the deal. If you do it like a hobby, you will earn a hobby income. Okay? That's why a lot of people take it like a hobby. They do it as and when they like it and so on. When you do it like a hobby, you earn a hobby income. Okay? First thing first, you must be proud of network marketing business. Okay, you must be proud that you are in an online business. You're with an online, you know, or such an incredible platform. Okay, you got to be purposeful. <clears throat> you must be prepared. You must equip yourself with the necessary knowledge. You know, you must equip yourself with the necessary know-how, skills on how to put your network, develop your network, and how to lead your people to success. Now, this is uh, very profound and, and very important. Okay, be proud because we are in the business of improving health and wealth. Now, what can be more important <clears throat> to, a human, to, uh, to a person, to a human being? <clears throat> you know, when it comes to human being, it's always the most important thing is health because health is wealth. When you lose your health, it doesn't matter how many millions, how many billions you have, you know, especially when you're a bit ridden and so on, right? So we are in a, a business of improving health and wealth. That's why, that's what makes Norland business the best business to get involved. Okay, now, to do it like a business, you have to go talk to people. There is a saying, no money, no talk. Okay, no money, no talk. In today's world, everything needs money. You don't have money, you can't even move an inch. You can't do anything at all, you know. But then again, in network marketing business, no talk, no money. You don't go out there to talk to people, there's no money for you. So you need to always present the business opportunity to those people around you, to your prospects, to as many people as possible. And this is very, very important. Okay, the more people you talk to, you know, the more people you'll be able to recruit and the more success you'll be. All right? Okay, you gotta do, Free TDP, TDP, TDP. Okay? To succeed in network marketing business, you have to do this. Take the products, <clears throat> talk to people, and train the people. Okay? I'll repeat that once again. You need to take the products, talk to people, and train the people. This, this is all you have to do. Okay, now for part-timers, 10 to 12 hours per week, talk to five people, you know, uh, talk to them so to, to present them the online products, the online composition plan, you know, the whole business proposal. It's the whole business plan, an opportunity. You got to spend 80% of the time retail some products and recruit new people to expand your network. 80% of the time must be spent in the field, out there in the field. 20% you must spend on attending training, learning up, reading, and so on. This is how you must spend your time, or uh, uh, be it you are part-timer or a full-timer. This is what you have to do, okay? You got to do it non-stop for at least one solid year, okay? If you're a part-timer, talk to 10 people every week. You do it solidly for one solid year. Do it non-stop for one solid year. I guarantee you, you will succeed in the business. Because uh, so many years in the business, I've seen, you know, success stories. I've seen, or, uh, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people who made it in the business and so on, make a lot of money, you know, all because of hard work, all because of they're putting in the hours, they're putting in the effort. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, you gotta learn everything you can <clears throat> about the business. And the, the, and the proper way to build this is very important. Okay, you must learn the proper and the right way to build the business from day one. <clears throat> okay, from day one. So uh, for some of you who are leaders, make sure you teach your downliners the right way, <clears throat> the proper way to build the business from day one. Then you have to plan your work and work your plan. Okay, you got to plan your work and work your plan. Because uh, if you don't, if, if you don't plan your work 
you actually plan to fail without you knowing it. <clears throat> so planning is everything, particularly uh, for those of you who are leaders. You got, you got to have a work of plan, you know, work plan. You got to have know where you want to go, where you want to take your team members to go, and you got to show them the plan. Don't just talk about it. All right. <clears throat> there is no shortcut in the online business. However, do not worry because we are here to train you. We are here to educate you. We are here to show you the way. Every Thursday, I'm here to share with you tips, you know, and uh, strategies and ways to build the business. So fear not. <clears throat> All right. How far you can go in this business depends on how hungry and how serious you are about, about the business. How badly you want to succeed in the business. How hungry you are will determine your success in the business. No doubt about that. Okay? You got to work for it. As long as you got to work for it, you put in the workload and so on, uh, definitely, definitely you will be successful in the business. I guarantee you that. I've seen a few hundred people, you know, made it in the business over the years and so on. Hundreds of them and from nowhere, from rags to riches, they have made it to become multi-millionaires. They have bought houses, they have bought cars, you know, they've traveled around the world all through the network marketing business. And guess what? <clears throat> Here's the good news. All of you can make it. All of you can make it, you know. So, Therefore, you must not doubt yourself. Never, never doubt yourself. Okay? All of you can make it. I'll say that again. Okay? If I have a time, I'll repeat that 1,000 times. All of you can make it. So you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in the business. Okay? Right. <clears throat> now, here's the deal. It is certainly better to spend three years to build an online business than to spend 30 years getting stuck on that miserable job of yours. Okay? <clears throat> Sometimes I talk to people. So are you willing to spend the, uh, the three years to earn 10,000 US dollars per month? <clears throat> he said, ah, oh, three years is too long. Well, I said, how many, how many years have you been working with the company? He said, probably about 15 years. Oh my God. Three years is too long. 15 years to stuck in that dead end job. Yours is not long. My God, man, this is totally irrational. Think about it, okay? I'll say this again. It is certainly better to, to spend three years build an online business and spend 30 years, 40 years for that matter, getting stuck on that miserable job of yours. Okay, uh, I'm going to share with you a story next. Okay, this story goes like this. There is a manufacturing plant, or rather we call it factory. Okay, layman's term, factory. And so one day, one of the most important machine in this factory break down. And, you know, they were trying to you know, they try to repair this machine and so on. They call in all kinds of technicians. They call in the experts. They call in whatever it is. After two full days, nobody was able to repair the machine. Nobody was able to do anything. The machine broke down and it cost the factory a lot of money, you know, because uh, the machine cannot run, <clears throat> couldn't run, and so on. So it cost them a lot of money. So suddenly they call a guy. This guy just came. You know, came, came to the factory, look at the machine, take up his camel, take up his camel, just knock here, knock there, knock here, knock there. You know, knock at the top part, knock at the bottom part, knock at the left part, knock at the right part. Hey! Miraculously, the machine started to work. The machine started to work. And of course, they have to pay the guy who managed to, and the machine restarted again. So how much is it? 50,000 US dollars he charged them. The guy charged them 50,000 euros. Wow, the, 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 the factory CEO jumped out and said, you must be crazy. You know, are you knocking here, knocking there, knocking there? You're trying to, you're trying to charge me 50,000 uh, US dollars? I think 5,000 itself is ridiculous. You know what the guy said? Here it comes. The guy said, why 50,000? The knocking will cost you 5,000. Knowing where to knock, how to knock, and not how many times, that will cost you 45,000 US dollars. <clears throat> So, what is the key factor here? The key factor here is expertise. You need to have expertise in whatever that you do. More so in building the Norland business. All right, so expertise is everything. So please, 
upgrade yourself and to be an expert, to be a specialist, to be damn good at the business, then you will definitely be successful. And I guarantee you, it's pretty impossible to fail when you are the expert. Okay, now, <clears throat> my question to you, okay? Uh, please, or for those of you who want to take down this particular uh, page, you can use your handphone to snap it, all right? Now, my question to you, do you know how to build a network? Sincerely, honestly, answer the question. Do you see yourself as a good leader? Are you able to lead and show your downlines the way? Can you do that or not? Okay. Can you present an online business effectively and convincingly? Are you able to present, to share the online business platform effectively and convincingly? Are you able to do that? And number five question is, <clears throat> do you have the expertise to build the online business successfully? These are the questions I want you to reflect and ask yourself, okay? So, or you can take a picture of this if you want to. Guess what? Like I said earlier, I guarantee all of you can and will make it provided you are willing to work on it. You must be willing to work on it. You must be willing to learn. You must be willing to pay the price so that you can make it in the business. All right. Okay. Well, coming up, I'd like to share with you our, you know, <clears throat> about teamwork and so on. And then some action, push, uh, uh, what do you call it? Goal setting, sorry. Goal setting and so on. All right. There is a saying, everyone is built to be great. Action determines the rest. This is said by Eric Worre. Okay. One of the foremost or network marketing trainer, master trainer now in the world, <clears throat> in the business. Okay, and I'll repeat again, everyone is built to be great. Action determines the rest. Like I said again, how much action you put in, how much workload you put in will determine your success in the business. <clears throat> okay, now, there are three types of people in this world. Ask yourself, which type are you? Okay, three types of people in this world. The first type is the people who make things happen. They are the proactive type. You know, they don't wait. Okay, they do things. They lead, they do things, they, they take the initiative. You know, they start working, they start on a project, they take the lead and so on, okay? These are the people who make things happen. <clears throat> Number two, these are the people that wait for things to happen. You know, the reactive people. Something happened and then they something not happening, they don't, they don't take charge and they just wait for things to happen. And the third type is the most beautiful and the most pathetic type. You know, they are the one who don't even know what happened. You know, something happened, you say, yeah, oh, is it? Is it? Is it? How come I don't know? You know, they, these are the kind of people, you know, don't even know what happened. So the question is, which type are you? Which type of people are you? Are you the type that make things happen? Or are you the type that wait for things to happen? Or are you the type don't even know what happened? Think about it. <coughs> okay? Now, very important thing you have to do is you must get crystal clear on your why. You must be crystal clear on your why, okay? Now, start here and dive into your why, okay? Now, it is true that a well-developed why can help you break through unexpected obstacles and guide you in prioritizing your time, focus, and talents. Okay, now, you need to answer the following questions to clarify your why. Okay, it must be crystal clear on your why because your why will drive you. The why will make you stick to the business no matter what. <clears throat> no matter what kind of uh, tap, obstacles and challenges, you know, are in front of you and so on. You will be overcome, you will be able to overcome them because of your why. All right, now, here, are, here comes the questions. <clears throat> what changes would you make to feel truly fulfilled in your life? What changes would you make to feel truly fulfilled in your life? Again, you can take a, a 
uh, snapshot of this photo, okay? Yeah, to, to, to go seek your why. If you could improve your life, lifestyle, what would it take? What would that look like? Okay? The third question is, what excites you? What are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? Number four, if you design your life, what would it look like? What would it look like? What would it feel like? Okay, next, if you had all the means necessary, where would you make the biggest impact? If you had all the means necessary, <clears throat> where would you make the biggest impact? In your family, health, income, etc. Okay, <clears throat> now think of these questions carefully. Okay, number six, what would it look like and feel like to live that life? What would it look like and what would it feel like to live that kind of life? Okay, please go back and do an exercise. All right, answer all these questions to find out your true why. <clears throat> okay, here it comes. I'd like to talk to you something very important. Yeah, I know some of you have said, ah, I've, I've heard this before. I know this. It's not how many times you heard it. Have you actually, actually set goals in your life? Okay, to succeed in the dollar business and all the more so to succeed in life, you need to set goals and execute your goals. You got to do all these things. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> set goals and execute them. Now, accordingly, 3% of people make the world go around. The rest of 97% just follow. So the difference is in... <coughs> Sorry, the difference is in setting goal. Those who set goals will go on to make it in their life. You know, we are talking about all those uh, famous people like Roger Federer, you know, uh, Lionel Messi, right? Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, you know, Nelson Mandela, you know, all these things. You know, uh, the the. What you call it, the country's leaders, head of states, and so on, presidents, prime ministers, they all set goals. You know, <clears throat> they don't wander around aimlessly, then suddenly so lucky they become the president of the country. It doesn't work that way. So you gotta set goals. <clears throat> okay. There is a saying, no goal is set, small uh, no, sorry, no goal is bad, small goal is set. I'll repeat that again. No goal is bad, small goal is set. Meaning, <clears throat> if you set a goal that is too small, you know, and so on, that is rather sad. Okay, two, the goal that you set must be challenging, you know, must be challenging enough uh, so that it can spur you to, to go on. All right. <clears throat> now, of course, if you can't hit the target that you, you can't see, then how can you even hit the target that you don't have? You know, can you imagine an archer? You don't know what an archer is, right? They don't want to shoot arrow, you know? They shoot arrow in the Olympic Games or Asian Games or African Games, whatever it is. Can you imagine, you know, in an in, in a archery competition, there's no target for this arrow, uh, for these archers to shoot. So how are they going to win? Or can you imagine a football match without goal post? Without goal post. Or basketball uh, game without the baskets, you know? players will not know where to score the goal right so you will never hit the goal that you don't have this is very important <clears throat> okay or that goes for your knowledge business and other aspects of your life you need to set goals in your knowledge business and also also other aspects of your life you know such as uh, personal development your social life your marriage, your family life, and so on, you know, you have to set goals in that areas as well. Okay, <clears throat> let's set a smart goal. S M A R T goal. This is very important. Okay. Number one, S stands for specific. <clears throat> okay. Your goal, it must be specific. <clears throat> Meaning it has to be crystal clear with details. Don't say I want to make a lot of money. What do you mean by a lot of money? Is uh, 500,000 a lot? Is 5 million a lot? Whatever it is. Don't say I want to make a lot of money. Okay? A lot of people, the goal 
uh, the goals is set or never clear, never clear, and that is very bad. You you gotta say, <clears throat> I want to make five million US dollars through the Norland business. Ah, okay, that goal is very specific. I want to buy a BMW Seven Series. Don't say I want to buy a big car. You know, <clears throat> don't say I want to buy a big house. A lot of people say that when I make my money and so on, I like to buy a big house. What do you mean by buy a big house? Can we buy a warehouse so that you, you can put the whole damn village inside, you know? <laughs> or so, you know, some, some people will say, you know, when I make my money, I want to buy a big car. What do you mean a big car? Shall we buy a bus so that again, you can put all your family inside? You know, so be specific. Don't say I want to buy a big car. I want to buy a big house. You know, those are two big the goals are vague. It has to be crystal clear with details. Number two, M stands for measurable. Okay, your goals not only must be specific, it must come with a line. I'm going to give you an example. <clears throat> right? Say you set a goal. I want to make five million US dollars by the first December 2022. Uh -huh. That is goal with crystal clear go with deadline okay there must be a deadline i want to make certain money or i want to climb to become a, a gold medal silver medal or silver diamond by what day by 31st of june 2021 okay that's next year okay you gotta you gotta do that okay for those of you leaders and distributors i urge you and uh you know to advise you to put set your goal what kind of rank you want to climb within how many months and so on okay now <clears throat> your goal must be achievable it has to be realistic within reach now i need to remind you there's a fine thin line between goal setting and daydreaming you're not careful you go into the daydreaming area all right <clears throat> so your goal must be realistic i don't think you can make a few billion dollars the uh, Norland business. I don't think that is possible. Okay. However, you will be able to make 30 million, 50 million US dollars. That's very much realistic and within reach. <clears throat> okay. So, very important. <clears throat> right. And you need to rate your goal, meaning you have to prioritize different goals. Now, you may set goals in, set, uh, in, in different areas. You need to prioritize your goals. Perhaps your immediate goal is to change, is to buy a car because you've been you've been taking you know public transportation for so many years. You're fed up every time. It's it's you know it's or or what do you call it? It's crammed inside like a sardine tin, like a sardine can or rather you know. And you always feel that ah, it's so crowded and so on. So it's time for you to buy a new car. So maybe that is your first goal. Maybe your first goal is to send. Your kids to college. Now they are all brilliant students. It's called uh, good. They, they do well, excel in the examination, and so on. They want to go to universities. So maybe that is your goal. Okay, you need to prioritize different goals. <clears throat> right. P stands for track your goal. It means how far are you from your goal? Now let me give you an example. Let's say you set a goal of making five million US dollars by 31st of December 2022. Okay, come um, 31st of December 2021. You got one more year to go. How far are you from your goal? Are you already halfway there? 70%, 60%, or you haven't even got started? You have not even started. Okay, so you need to track your goal. All right, I'll repeat that again. We need to set a smart goal. Number one, goal must be specific, crystal clear with details. Number two, <clears throat> your goal must be measurable, it comes with deadline, and your goal must be achievable, it must be realistic and within reach. Okay, if not, then you'll be dreaming. And that is bad. That is very self-deceiving. Okay, that's very self-deceiving, and it's not gonna get you anywhere. You need to read your goal, prioritize different goals, and you gotta track your goal. How far are you from your goal? Okay, this is how you set a smart goal. All right, 
I give you some examples of how to set your goal. I'll give you some example here. I want to earn five thousand US dollars per month by thirtieth of June, twenty twenty one. Uh huh. Okay. Here it goes. I want to earn five thousand USD per month by thirtieth June, twenty twenty one. Wow, that is very much uh, reachable. Some of you probably have already made the kind of money. You know, I'm talking to newcomers and so on. Okay. All right. Now, number two, I want to qualify as gold medal by 30th June 2021. Number three, I want to travel to London, Paris, New York, or Hawaii, Japan, Beijing. And also, if you want to come to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, I'll make sure I'll be here to welcome you. For those of you who have never been to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, I'm here. I, we will be here to welcome you, okay, with open arms and with the best of our hospitality. All right, I want to travel to such and such destination <clears throat> by 31st December 2021. I want to win my car award for those of you, especially African or African distributors and so on from Africa. I know, you know, our company, uh, give, our company gives up car award and so on, okay? <clears throat> so you can set a goal. I want to win my car award by 31st December 2021 in one year's time, okay? I want to build a network of 1,000 downlines by 31st December 2021. Okay, you, you must set a goal of how many people you need to recruit, how many people you want to have in your network. Okay, set this goal. And also, <clears throat> not forgetting, uh, for those who want to buy a house, maybe change to a better house and so on, buy a seaside. Well, for those of you who are living or by the seaside, you know, buy a seaside condominium or seaside, you know, or mansion or bungalow house, whatever it is, you know. I want to buy a new house by 30th June 2022. Set your goals. All right? <clears throat> Very important. Now, you need to <clears throat> execute your goal. All right? This is what you do. Please get ready a notebook. Get ready an exercise book, notebook. Also, make this book your dream book. Call it your dream book. Okay, what you have to do is place the house, the car, the vacation, the amount of money you want to make on this book. Okay, uh, uh, print out nowadays, people don't cut. Huh? <clears throat> Maybe you can cut out from magazines or you can print out. You know, nowadays you can go to Google image, all the uh, <clears throat> whatever image you want, you can just download them. And you can print out and you can paste it onto your dream book. Now, next thing you have to do is look at the dream book every day. Let it remind you of your goals and it will motivate you towards achieving them. Look at that goal, okay? The car that you want, the vacation that you, you want to take your family to, the amount of money you want to make, all right? Look at it. Paste it onto this dream book of yours. Look at it every day. And visualize it. Visualize that you already have this money. Visualize that. Uh, visualize that you've already bought this car and so on. And taking your wife, taking your, your girlfriend and your family to go on a nice drive, you know, across the country and so on. <clears throat> okay. So don't be a NATO. NATO says for what? No action, talk only. All right. Don't be a NATO. No action, talk only. So. Let your goals drive you all the way. Make sure you take action. Work at it every day. Work out a plan. Work according to your plan. Weekly plan, monthly plan, and so on. All right? You need to stay focused on your goal. <coughs> you got to stay focused on your goal. Don't get distracted or sidetracked. You must never get distracted or sidetracked. Focus on the knowledge business. Focus on it. Do it nonstop for one, two years. For that matter, three years. Focus on it. Improve on it, working on it. Okay, now you can change your plan, but not your goal. A lot of people keep shifting their goal post. Okay, they change their goal post. That is no good. Stuck to your goal. You can change your plan, change your approach, change the way you do business, but never sell yourself short. Okay, don't reduce your goal. Say you want to make 5 million US dollars, don't say, ah, I don't think I can make it. How about three million US dollars? Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. <clears throat> All right, don't change your goal. All right, visualize and verbalize your set goals. Close your eyes, 
you know, picture yourself, you've already in possession of all those items that you said you want to do. All those things that you've like. Realize, on this day, I will have in my possession, you know, 5,000, uh, 5 million US dollars. On this day, I will be driving this car, my dream car. You know, it can be a Porsche, Cayenne, or whatever it is, <clears throat> whatever that you want. Ferrari, Lamborghini, it can be anything. The sky's the limit. It's all up to you. <clears throat> okay, right. Uh, from goal setting, so quickly, quickly, uh, for those of you leaders, please help your downliners, especially the newcomers, to set uh, to set their goals. Okay, lead them to set their goals. Remember, remember using the smart goal setting technique. Right. Next, move on to how to lead a happy and successful team. Everything is about team. All right. Network marketing is a teamwork business. It's not by yourself. You're not in business. Uh, by yourself. You're, you're in business by yourself, uh, for yourself, but not by yourself. This you must realize, okay? A uh, very important, profound message to you. Okay, being a good leader requires more than being a high performer yourself. Of course, good leaders are normally high performers, or else how can you become a leader? You know, a, 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 a lousy networker and so on would never lead anything. Okay, but you need be more than just being a high performer. <clears throat> That's what you have to do. You must also be able to motivate others to achieve their greatest potential by empowering them and holding them accountable for their responsibilities. To succeed in network marketing business, you need to move people. The key factor is moving people. All right? Moving people from point A to point B, fastest time, possible you must move them you must take them <clears throat> nobody move in your network you're not going to make it no matter how smart you are how capable how capable you are and so on you're not going to make it it's about working with people it's about moving people you know towards the same uh, destination towards the same or <clears throat> same goal <clears throat> the same direction okay number one is to build a happy team you must understand their motivators Okay, what do they want? What do they want out of business? What drive and motivate them? What do you think is gonna make them happy? Okay, what, what, what desire do they have? You must know all these things so that you can work with people, so that you can provide them, uh, you know, uh, to, to go down the right path, so that you can provide them, uh, show them the way and so on. Okay, understanding the motivators, what are their desire? You need, as a good leader, you know, to build, a happy team, a great team, you must listen attentively and get the true picture. Don't listen to rumors. Don't take a wild guess and so on. Right? Get down to the bottom. Get down to the bottom of it. Get the true picture. This is what you have to do. When a doctor treats a patient, he or she would diagnose the symptom before prescribing the correct medication. You must know if there is a problem in your network, in your group, in your team. You must diagnose the symptom. What caused the problem? Where is the problem? Then only you can find a solution. Okay, you can prescribe the medication to cure the disease. This is what you have to do as a leader. <clears throat> Number two, understanding their learning requirement and style. Understanding your team members learning requirements and style what kind of knowledge and skills do they need to acquire what kind of skills do they need to have what are the areas they need to improve you need to know okay what are the areas they must learn they must improve product skills conversation plan and i urge you all to please learn up a conversation plan truly understand how the plan works and how to work the plan that is omnipotent in the success of your business okay and uh, compel them to be independent 90 days when a newcomer when a new distributor join the business and so on he or she will sink or swim within 90 days everyone must be independent in 90 days must be able to, to present the business 
plan, you know, uh, talk about the company, the product, the plans, and so on. Number three, balance your goals and your downliners' needs. Okay, right. You must, like I said, goals set must be realistic and achievable. You also must understand what kind of goal they want. You know, what do they desire again? Okay, what is their need? <clears throat> what is their need and so on? Understand their actual and real need. Now, this is very important. Okay, you must know what they want, what they need. Talk to them. Communication is everything. In order to, to, to find out more, in, in order to work closer, you need to communicate with them more often. <clears throat> right. You got to help them to strive for their goals and obtain their needs. You need to help them, show them the way again, to strive for their goals. Uh, maybe, you know, how many how many PVs short? Five, 4,000 PV shots. How are they going to get their sales and so on? <coughs> okay. Right. Instill confidence in them to go for their goals. You got to instill confidence in them to go for their goals. Okay. Make sure that keep on patting their shoulder. You can do it. I believe in you. You know, you can do it. All right. I have confidence in you. You know, you got to have confidence in yourself. Come on, man. You have what it takes to be successful in the business. Number four, getting the right people to do the right things. Uh, this is very important. All right, so in this, in order to get the right people to do the right things, you need to understand the strength and weaknesses of team members. You got to understand your downliners well. You know, uh, what are these guys' strength? What, what are these or ladies' weaknesses and so on? Okay, you must be able to capitalize on their strength. You must be able to capitalize on their strength. Okay, so don't expect the defender to score goals like the striker. Okay, it's just like in football, you know, if you put a striker to play as a defender, that'll be disastrous. Likewise, if you put a defender to, to, to attack, you know, he or she, she will not be able to score any goals. All right, don't expect a defender to score goals like a striker. Now, this is very important. <clears throat> you got you to gotta grasp that. Success is about getting the right people doing the right things using the right methods. Period. That's what success is all about. You know, getting the right people to do the right things and do things right and using the right methods. This you must be able to implement. Must be able to do or uh, in uh, developing and building a happy team. An effective and happy team. Number five, be human and have feelings. Very important. Okay, be human and have feelings. Remember, we are not working and dealing with a bunch of robots or cyborgs. We are not working with Terminator, you know, that Arnold Schwarzenegger or character, Asta La Vista, maybe, you know, that's Terminator, you know, that's a robot. Okay, All right, <clears throat> we are working with human beings. That means we are working with people that has got feelings. Right, people that has got compassion, people that has got emotion, people that has got sentiments, and so on. All right, so we don't go around hurting people, we don't go around running down people, you know, and so on, and dig out people's or you know, or <clears throat> mistakes and whatnot, and so on, amplify people's mistakes and so on. You don't do all those things, okay? Seek first to understand, then to be understood. We must first understand people, then only we ask people. To understand us that is very important this concept is very important okay in order to gain respect you must respect first you must respect those downliners you must respect those sideliners you must respect your upline as well you know <clears throat> right respect can only be gained respect can only be earned right it cannot be bought it cannot be it cannot be rent Cannot be persuaded, no, on his that. Cannot be bribed, no, on his that. Okay, right? Respect first before you gain respect. So, be human. We are dealing with human people. Network marketing is people's business. So, we need to communicate more. Communicate more, talk to each other, find out each other's or, you know, uh, thinking, thoughts, what they want, and on his that. Number six, 
set clear expectation. This is very important. Okay, set clear expectation. You got to communicate to your team members what is expected of them, what you want out of them, what is expected of them, what kind of thing they must do as a part timer, as a full timer, and so on. So, what exactly do they want out of this business? Okay, like I said, communicate, talk to them, listen to them, and so on to find out <clears throat> what they want out of the business. And then tell them what exactly do you want them to do? What exactly do you want them to do? What kind of tasks do you want them to take on and to finish? Okay, now give clear instruction what has to be done and how to do it. Clear instruction. Instruction must be clear. A lot of times, you know, when people, managers or leaders give instruction, it wasn't very clear. It's very vague and ambiguous. So when people do things wrong, do the wrong thing and so on, you cannot score that because you have never given clear instruction. That is very important. Encourage others to help you achieve your vision by demonstrating its advantages. Okay? You must touch them. You must, you, you must, or what do you call it, prompt them to go on, encourage them, help you, your team members, to help you achieve your vision by demonstrating its advantages. <clears throat> it must be of their interest, not just of your interest. It must be uh, beneficial to them as well, to the whole team, and not just or uh, beneficial to you alone. Okay? So, Demonstrate its advantages. Why you must do this? You know, John, you know, I would uh, suggest you to do this and so on. Okay. Why? Because when you do this, you're going to gain this, you're going to gain that. You know, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to go on to grow. You know, <clears throat> you're going to qualify as whatever, whatever it is. You know, <clears throat> demonstrating its advantages. Discuss performance regularly. This you have to do as a leader. Okay, be concerned about team members' growth and process. You must always monitor their progress. Must always monitor how far they have gone. Are they, you know, are they growing or have they stagnant? They are stagnant. Why are they stagnant? You know, so find out all this. All right, be concerned, truly concerned about them. Encourage rather than exert pressure. Don't just exert pressure, but encourage. I know you can do it. You know, this month, I know you can have that extra, you know, 2,000 PV. You, I know you can do it. Come on, John. You know, believe it. I have every faith in you. You know, instead of exerting pressure and so on, you know, so sometimes uh, it may turn people off. Give encouragement. <clears throat> show them how they can perform better. Encourage them, show them how they can perform better. What they have to do to perform better and not forgetting you got to provide answer and solution to the questions and challenges always provide answer and solution you know uh, your team members come up to you with some problems doubts and uh, some kind of uncertainty you must quickly calm them down you must quickly to you know or reduce their fear <clears throat> you must quickly to reduce your doubts to clear their doubts and so on you must be able to provide answer and solution to their questions and challenges. <clears throat> Number eight, provide specific timely feedback. You must give them feedback. Feedback on their progress and how they are doing in their business. Always feedback, you know, or I think this is, this is, or I, I think you can, you can do something better than this, you know. I think you can go a little bit further. You can go the extra mile, you know. I feel that. You know, you can certainly go a bit faster. Give them the feedback, you know. All right, give them the feedback and, and encouragingly. Encouragingly, not discouragingly. Okay, and you got to advise and guide them what are the right things to do and how to do things right. You need to always advise and guide. You are like a guidance, you know. What are the right things to do and how to do things right. And you must be, as a good leader, to build a happy team, you must be frank. You must be candid, but avoid being harsh and rude. You can be frank, you can be honest, candid, but don't be rude. Don't be rude and harsh. Okay, this is what you must avoid. Right, number nine, recognize team members' achievement. Of course, you know, you gotta recognize their achievements, celebrate their achievements, always pat their shoulders and give compliments generously. 
Never be stingy with your compliment. Never be stingy with your uh, encouraging words. Okay? Reward them with prizes. It is the thoughts that count. You must reward them with prizes. Even though it is a, a small prizes and so on. It is the thought that counts. Not so much of the prizes itself. Okay? People want to be appreciated. People want to be recognized. So you need to do all these things. <clears throat> do your own promotion. Sometimes, uh, especially those leaders, you have made your money, a little bit of money here and there. Do your own promotion to reward your team members. This is what I highly recommend you to do. Okay? And of course, very important, always criticize in private and praise in public. Always criticize in private. Something you're not happy with your team members and so on, call them aside, go to a room quietly, close the door, and you can scold them or whatever it is. Criticize them and things like that. But you must always praise people in public. <clears throat> okay, number 10, <clears throat> make time for team building. Team building is very important. As a leader, you must create a sense of belonging, okay? You need to organize parties, organize short trips, various gatherings to create synergy and to also create solidarity throughout the team so that people will feel the sense of belonging. It is so nice and so great to be in your network, to be in your team, all right? Don't just talk about sales and result all the time. <clears throat> Don't just talk about sales, meeting, sales, meeting all the time. There are time to play, time to work, and time to play. Work hard and play hard. This is what Norland Business is all about. <clears throat> Without your team, you are not a true leader, period. Okay, you are nobody without your team. So you must cherish them, value them, you know, and show them you, you, you appreciate, you appreciate all your team members. Remember, a leader without a team ain't no leader at all. <clears throat> Make them feel welcome, accepted, and wanted in the team. Okay, make everybody feel at home, Make everybody realize that you are such a great leader. You are such a caring leader. You know, you care for everybody. Okay, you are not a selfish one. And they feel welcome. And they feel accepted. They feel wanted in their team. If you are able to do this and so on, I guarantee you that no one will leave your team. No one will leave your team because they feel sense of belonging. Okay? Now, a team is more than a collection of people. It is a process of give and take. Of course, when it comes to teamwork and so on, you got to have give and take, communicate, give and take. All right? Teamwork is the secret that makes common people achieve uncommon results. There is a saying, there is no perfect individual. There is perfect team. Each of the team members come together work effectively, work solid, uh, work harmon harmoniously, you know, you're going to create a team, a great team. Okay, teamwork is a secret that makes common people achieve uncommon results. <clears throat> and great things in business are never done by one person. They are done by a team of people. Okay, particularly in network marketing business. It is a team effort. You build the success on the success of others. That's how things are done, all right? Nothing in business is done by one person, one individual. They are all done by a team of people, <clears throat> right? And build for your team a feeling of oneness, of dependence <coughs> on one another and a strength to be derived by unity. This is unity, teamwork, unity, one mind, one heart, one goal, you know, one destination. Okay, so the oneness you need to build your team. Everybody speaks with one voice, right? Not everybody going different direction and always that. All go towards the same direction. So build for your team a feeling of oneness, of dependence on one another. Team is about we depend on each other, we work with each other. All right, so the strength can then be derived through unity. This is what team is all about. Okay, now our success is moving towards your set goals with determination 
and never stop until you achieve your set goal. You must believe and know that you can and you will achieve your goal. As the saying goes, winners never quit and quitters never win. Whatever you do, never, never, never be a quitter in your life. Quitting, there's no honor in quitting anything. <clears throat> okay, well, that's all for this session. More valuable tips will be coming your way. I thank you very much for listening to me. I hope for whatever I've shared and so on will benefit you. Okay, now, <clears throat> I'd like to close by sharing with you uh, one of my favorite or uh, idiom, okay, saying, there it goes. Today, if you're willing to do things that others don't want to do, tomorrow you will get things that others will not get. I'll say that again. Today, if you're willing to do things that others don't want to do, tomorrow you will get things that others will not get. Meaning you're willing to work for it, you will be able to get a lot of things that other, other people will not get. <clears throat> All right, once again, I wish all of you great success in your online business. Believe it, you can do it. I'll see you at the top. Thank you once again.